Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Couch Potato Queens channel. I am your host, Steven, and I'm so happy that I was convinced by one of our viewers to make sure that we covered the Challenge All-Stars 4, and I thought, hmm, who could I bring on with me? And I decided on my chiropractor and good friend, Dr. William. Hello, everybody out there. Hi, Couch Potato Queens. Thank you for the invite, Stephen. Uh, Stephen is basically my best challenge friend. Uh, we love chatting about it. He has been spilling all the tea for years and years and years. And I'm so excited to be here to discuss it with all this challenge tea with you guys and also with my wonderful husband, Lanny. Hello, Lanny. Hi, all. I'm Lanny. I'm so excited to be here. I'm a longtime challenge fan. I actually got my husband into challenge. So um, I've been watching it since the mid 2000s. Love the show. Excited to talk about it. And uh, um, oh my God, Stephen your conversations with my husband are so amazing. I get so much great information from them. I love uh, all the background. It's amazing. And so I'm really just excited to, to talk more challenge, pick your brain and uh, let's see where it goes. Yeah. I'm glad that um, we can finally talk about it with each other as well. Instead of um, Dr. William having to be the liaison. Uh, it's beautiful. We can just all finally have the threesome of our dreams. And yeah, yes, wow, instead of one Steven, we got two more Stevens. Oh, boy. Lucky you. But if you're watching, if you are new to the channel, be sure that you subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel more than smashing that like or subscribing, you can always send a super chat during the live stream. Uh, and all white gay men do look alike. Sophie Dophy, you are correct. Absolutely. And before we even start, I do have to, I have to, I have to give the shout out. Yes, Sophie Dophy. I was, I was not going to do, I was not going to cover it, even though I've been sitting on all of this All Stars 4 stuff since it literally filmed January of 2023. I've been sitting on this tea for a hot minute and Sophie Dophy, you convinced me I need to do it. And then something clicked. I'm like, Oh my God, I have the perfect co-host. So thank you, Sophie. And yes, Ben, thank you so much. We appreciate to have you back. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> okay. So so just to start out, so I just to get a little background on you guys' knowledge of the challenge. So, Lanny, you said you started watching the mid 2000s. Do you remember what first season you started watching live? Um, I think Gauntlet, like right before TJ started. Um, oh, okay. Then that's wow, farther back than I was expecting. Yeah. So I love the real OG. world. Um, real world rub rules. So. That's what got me into it. All of the like my favorite dumb slutty um, friends going on to the next version of the show. Uh, it was great. I miss it. I mean, I love it, but I miss like what challenge used to be. You know. Yep. And Dr. William. Yes, you can. William. Is <laughs> I fine. can't. I don't know how to <laughs> not call you that. <laughs> um, but no. So I came in. Through Lanny, he introduced me once we started dating. And we've been dating, by the way, since 2013. And then married since 2017. So we've been together for a gay eternity. And he introduced <laughs> me to Challenge back in like 20, either 2013 or 2014. And we were trying to figure it out tonight. I believe... I think I, think I remember you telling me that it was Bloodlines. That I think it was Bloodlines too. Bloodlines or Battle of the Exes 2. One of the two. That was season 26 I, and 27. I can never I keep up. I can never keep up with the X's seasons. I can't remember. All I know is the Camillinator won one of them. Uh, yeah, I think it was beautiful. That's my uh, favorite that format. Beautiful. Like 
<laughs> exes, rivals. I, I'm like living for another one of those to come back. I love like an exes, rivals four. Uh, that would be great for 40. Well, all the fans want it. So if we want it, that means that we're not going to get it. We won't have it. <laughs> it's true. That's what they do best. Mm -hmm. And I would say my, no, I, I can tell you my, the first challenge I ever watched was battle battle of the seasons. The very first. Oh one, yeah. Where I, that's the one where I can't remember her name, but homegirl brought her own, her actual baby to the challenge. Like not, we have cam over here. Like, yeah, she's, She's pumping every two to three hours, but she didn't bring the damn kid with her. That's to show you that things were uh, very different back then. You could bring your own kid. Oh, for sure. And you could have strangers come over. It was like a right. total party. Yeah. I think uh -huh. you could still have cell phones for a little while, right? Isn't that well, they, they gave them like, the little they gave them the sidekicks? Right, right. The T-Mobile uh, sidekicks. I yeah. remember the days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got their challenge on the sidekick. Right, and right, right. Forgot to read the the thing the for that episode. Message. Yeah, mm, that was yeah. So not got, cool. <laughs> this All Stars Four was supposed to be out a very long time ago, but the writer strike held us back, mm. and I'll never forget them for it. Why did the writer strike hold us back? Because they had they had C they needed something to fill a CBS time slot. And so the Challenge USA 2 had to come before a streaming show because that was on CBS. They had no writers to write their, you know, their 10 p.m. slot. So they said, like, they that turnaround was probably within a week's time. Like, we got the trailer for it a week after they had stopped filming. They oh, had wow. to rush that that season. Um, so first, I... I want to just go through the cast since this is the start of the start of us covering this. We'll go through the cast uh, alphabetically, and we can go from there. Ah. So let me pull them up because this cast I will never I will never forget where I was when I woke up to Gamer Vev's tweets of who was on this cast, and oh my gosh. Is it your I mean, favorite in a long time? Kara news was huge. That Shower was big. I woke I woke up and my, the amount of notifications I had from Twitter were insane when I just for Kara. That was never expected. But she that. hasn't been on in how many years? Um, it's the last time she was on was War of the Worlds War 2. War of the Worlds 2? Yeah. Where she didn't win, right? That was a Correct. Jordan but, CP win. That was yeah. It was um all of the uh, uh, and CP D was yep. that D's win. Uh, yep, R I P. Rogan, D. all of them. Yeah, uh, R I P. Um, let's see. Yeah, but I did one little fact. Kara has been in. I'll wait for her. I'll wait for her. Okay, let's pull these up. Oh, it's too big. So first we have Ace, which I'm like, okay, he was um, he was probably a cheap casting choice like it didn't cost too much um no. he he's nice i want i loved it i mean i watched him on the real world um am i frozen no. a little uh -oh. bit oh your video is frozen oh it sure was hold on oh um, you're kind of back okay, okay so ace i'm just gonna say He's here. Yeah, like kind of lame. Not lame, lame. Just not really memorable. <laughs> like, what's he doing? Yeah. It's, That's like my kind of read on him, you know? I mean, I guess he did a little redemption because he broke some ribs after he was the first um, the first elimination in uh, All-Stars 1 against Letarian. They did pole wrestle. Oh, right. Sure. Oh, he broke ribs during that? Yeah, they listen. They were not prepared. They did not know what um, what was going to happen. Oops, has he yeah. like, had confessionals this season? I feel yeah, like he, he hasn't even been in this season. The confessionals I totally were agree about with other you, people. Okay, I totally yeah, like, agree. He totally lacks personality. Yeah, how he was ever on the real world, I'm, I'm shocked. But on to the next, we have Adam. I like. I mean, I remember every single person on this cast, but. I just remember like him being blast there. Blast from the past. Yeah, very much. 
I think he said it had been 19 years. I, what I loved about him, what I loved that he did on episode one was he called, he called it a mission. And I'm like, that yes, is su- yeah. that is such old school terminology. I love it. It was cute. And then he did well. Like he showed up mm-hmm. on the first mission. So mm-hmm. I was I'm impressed because what? He's in his 40s, 50s, Easily early 40s. 40s, yeah. 40s. Okay. 40s. I sure. Sorry. Didn't mean to make him that old, but doing great <laughs> for his 40s. I mean, that hill looked gnarly. Yeah. Yeah. Um Avery, okay. Yeah. I mean, I yes. love the real world Portland, so I was very excited for this. I mean, I don't, I mean, I know she was on the challenge, but I really just remember the, the, the triple fight with Naya and uh, Johnny on the real world Portland. I'll never forget that. Was was, she with um, Johnny Riley on one of her seasons? Yeah, that's the one because Naya, Naya was standing outside of they her Naya and Johnny had gotten into a physical fight and then Naya was like, Oh no, I'm not done. Was standing outside of the bathroom door as he was inside with a blow dryer with the cord wrapped up, waiting uh, for him to open the door. And the moment he opened the door, she went and then Avery comes in fighting her. That was oh man. Yeah, that was, uh, that was great. What a great fight. beautiful. <sighs> um, has she had some work done? Had she always had the ladies? Oh uh, well, she yeah, because she's a Hooters girl, and she still works. Okay. She, she 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 she's a ride or die for Hooters. Okay, but Good listen, if you're she's going if you're going on an All Star season and you haven't had any work done, what are we doing here? Sure, I mean a lot of <laughs> I've seen agree. a lot of filler. I've seen a lot of lips. They look plumped. Oh yeah, no, come on. You're yeah. if you're going on TV, get a little get a little get a little something done. Um, sure, on to. Okay. Yeah, uh, there's everyone's a lot favorite. Of a... Hey, I'm entertained. I'm. That's all I'm going to say with that. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to unpack with Ayana. Uh, I mean, she she wants to be there so bad. She slept in her uniform last night. We will, I'll always remember her as that girl. <laughs> and the show wants us to remember her as that girl. Like they oh. keep on playing that clip. They like it. And, and they she's love her. Good at stirring the pot. Man. She's production gold. Yeah. It, I mean, but at the a same nasty time, bitch, okay, but production gold. But at the same time, I think of how the challenge wants to come across these days. And she's not, she's what we want, but not what they want. Are you talking about America's fifth sport? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I, I was so pissed when they said that for, um, like for the intro into All Stars, I'm like, listen, make you can say that about your MTV version, but do not say that about All Stars. That's not what we're doing here. That's not what we're doing here. This is not. Stop be. calling it that. Stop calling it that. Stop calling it that. Uh, but I am. I'm hoping that we can see. I'm shocked we didn't see any um, anything between Ayana and Veronica because they have a very wild past. They were on the same road roll season together, and they didn't get along. It was it was not it was not cute, but I mean hell, Ayana's got beef with a lot of people. But there's a lot to unpack with Ayana, and I'll wait to get into that. But Ayana and she's here, Brad, uh, Brad, Brad the, the man, Brad the, the beard. beard, yeah, uh, the legend. I don't know, he's looking a little sc- he's looking a little scary. Uh, the beard scary scrunchies are something I don't I don't love it, but. It's commitment, and mm-hmm. I appreciate that. He mm-hmm. did better in All Stars Four, I feel like, than he did coming in as a mercenary in Thirty Nine. He didn't look great for, to me in Thirty Nine. No, no, oh, that's oh, when Thirty Nine he looked ill. Well, that's what it is. And Thirty Nine filmed way after, way later. Star- okay, right. yeah. So, well, oh, and his okay. have, his Instagram lately, like in the last month or two, has been really strange. He's just had like really erratic post things, like at weird hours and like weird statements, and it's not uh, looking great for Brad. Well, we'll see about him. <laughs> um, Brandon Nelson, he was a uh, originally Fresh Meat two. Yes, sure. he was the Cara Fresh Meat, I think. Yeah, right. the Cara so, and the Laura Fresh Meat. Yeah, so him and Cara are tight. Um, some others. 
Well, he was also on um, Cutthroat, and I I'd, I'd forgotten this, but he was sent in like over and over and over and over again, and some uh, some of the times from by Brad on that season, which I'd forgotten that he was the he was one of those. I hate I don't like seasons where they just keep throwing someone in like the same person over and uh, over again. But once they've said someone's name, you've just got to say it again. It's so much easier. Yeah. You're not wrong. But it's sad. It's tough to be the scapegoat over and over and over and like be on the receiving end of that avalanche. That sucks. Yeah. But he's back. And then, ah, the queen herself. Ah, uh, yes. Four, 14 Serving challenges. Johnny two Depp wins. realness. Uh, yeah, our favorite, pi- our pirate favorite pirate, pirate girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love I mean, my pirate girl. So happy she's back she is challenge gold and i'm glad to see her here without Polly. well yes but it was um it felt to me like something was just uh different about her being there and then i it clicked i'm like oh wow it's because she doesn't have Polly, because that's just been that been her storyline for what 32 33 34 for three full seasons well, like relationships have always been her, like Abram. Um, oh my God, skinny British Kyle. Guy. That's thank you. Oh yeah, she did date Kyle. Yeah, that was her storyline for at least two seasons. And there was someone else too. I, um, well, like Tony's I mean, yeah, brother or something. Tony's brother's gay. Thought, Tony's yeah. Tony's brother is uh, gay. She like hooked up with a someone's brother. On oh brother's no! It season. was what it was on the it was on Bloodlines when one yeah, dude had yeah. a twin and he brought his twin and then okay. and then Abram comes on to the yeah. Oh right, Abram came oh. on. Oh yes, Kara does look ready. But I love I, you can yes, hear it, absolutely. You could hear it in TJ's voice. He says Kara is back. He was like yes. so relieved, so relieved, and yeah, so am I. One, and she not only won that first thing, she won out of everyone. It was right. beautiful. That, yeah, she... I'm ready for another solo win. Um, Derek Chavez, come on, do it for the gays. This okay, is a right. cutie. Love him. Sad that he's never going to win. <laughs> you never I know. Okay, I mean, you don't? Are you putting money on Derek this season, Stephen? I will. I the one thing I will never speak about is um, a possible winner because I already know. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. We are both unspoiled, and you do know the winner. Yes, and I mean, there's a couple other things I know, but not really. I don't know how things play out. It's just you know, the, you can only be told so much. You never sure. know what the edit's going to look like. But that's true. Um. Okay. This. Flora, she might be, she is probably my top five as far as for All Stars four goes so far. Okay, on Jemmy's podcast, Jemmy described Flora the best way I know possible. She said she reminds me of basically Marie's auntie. She is basically Marie's Ah. auntie. She is giving such Marie, and I fucking love it. Well, you obviously would. I mean,. Hello. <laughs> yeah. But she's, she's just great. so real. Yes, absolutely. She's giving me like New Jersey mom hyper vibes. And uh, I'm here for how she's bringing that to the challenge. Yeah. And she's not there because it's America's fifth sport. Like, <laughs> right. She's, she she's is not. Sweet yeah. lady, though. I, I, I'm obsessed with her already. Oh my gosh. Uh, next, Jasmine. I uh, Jazzy J. Always love Jazzy J. Always will. She's a delight. Yeah, and she's so nice. in a mirror. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say ever classic since I saw her. challenge. <laughs> classic challenge. Like break a glass and be ready to like fight with it. I mean, she's just but I like Jasmine as a mom too. Right. Yeah. And she'll do it for the moms. And she said, as we find out, she was uh celebrating her divorce party. Yes. I, know. I mean, sad for her, but she clearly seems like she's Wait. in a happier place. So good for her. Does that mean romance is in the air for Jasmine? Uh, well, they put her ex in the house, so I was hoping for that. We'll we'll get to him. Okay. 
I'll go past this. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I mean. But I love that they played the clip of him vomiting in the finale with Jenna. Uh, that was what good challenge. I am honestly shocked that Jay was allowed to return because I am a TJ hates quitters boy mm -hmm. at heart. And if TJ hates quitters and you quit on him, I mean like dead to dead to TJ dead to me. Don't need you back. Oh, this is a, come on, Ben with a hot take. Okay. Wait above Tony. Okay. I mean, when Tony talks, you're like, that's not uh, very hot. Yeah, Tony is dumb, but he is really pretty. But I do, I think he's on the cast. I mean, if you kind of looked at how the the male side of the cast versus the female side, they stacked the women. And then they gave us some lackluster men. Because it's a so, if it's a solo winner, then yeah, we um, we don't need... Johnny Banana CT Wes on there. No, give us give us someone like Jay. Let it let the women have like a fair fair shot. Well, I mean, Car Maria already won the first challenge, so Period. enough said. Period. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Killa Killa. I'm in the house for her. Now, originally, when the cast was announced and we saw that Cam was on there. There were some mixed mixed feelings about it because All Stars is supposed to be just for real world role rules. And I would say if there's anyone who will get a pass from being from Are You the One, it's her. Like I, she's well, the one I I'll mean, give the pass to. I mean, you in fact should give it to Tori because she is an Are You the One player who has won a challenge and Cam has not. But Flora hasn't won a challenge either. Where this is not all winners. Ooh, I didn't this is all say stars. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be season forty? And all Cam's winner? an all star. Cam's an all star. Cam is an, an all star. Great. I love her. I'm so glad she's here. And I will say, I mean, are you the one? Is still MTV, so I'll give that a pass. But I also think, had she, if she didn't have the relationship she had with Leroy, then she might may not have been selected. I think that's a, that plays a big part, just showing having their... She their, has a big a personality. She is great at the political game. She's good TV. She says what she wants. She means what she says. She's good TV. I don't know. And no, we're going to see that well barrier pushed back and back the farther we go into All-Stars, right? I mean, we're going to get like a... Casey soon or like a Fessy. God, can we not get Fessy? Uh, but well, like that's happening soon, right? On can all we stars? talk about the gamer? Oh uh, well, I'm saving I'm today. saving that part for the okay. end. Okay. I'm okay. saving I'm okay. saving that for the end. Oh my gosh. But yeah, like a, a gamer vev tweet came out today, Manny. Oh. I thought I thought you um I didn't think you followed Gamer Vev. Bitch, I have to do what I have to do to keep up with you, okay? <laughs> you better be careful and not find out the winner. I, it's limited. I don't follow. I just like look at reposts that don't say spoiler. Okay. Moving on. Okay, Keefla. I am, I think it's Keefla. I I thought I think I thought it was Keefla, and really, I think it's Keefla. He's saying Keefla. I was thinking it was Keefla, and I could have sworn I just looked at the, I just watched the last two episodes, and I can't remember. I think it's I have no idea. Well, I'm liking him already. I he he won the very first uh, season of the challenge, which I did not know that about him. No challenge season one. Yes, he hasn't been on in 25 years. Wow. Well, That's nice wild. to have the Godfather OG here. Then, yeah, he showed up with a good vibe. I don't remember him, but I hadn't seen season one, so I, I like still... him so far. I want to see how he can do. Well, that I man did a watched split. through season 10. Sure. Yes. Yes. And that was impressive. I can't fucking do that. My hat's off to him. Not like on like pavement. I'm like, what? Okay. His dance was great. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> no. I would have um, died. HBIC is head bitch in charge. Cam. Cam. 
Okay, moving <laughs> on. Uh, uh, yes, 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 DVM represent. <laughs> I love Laurel. Uh, uh, can I tell I, you my favorite Laurel moment of like the last five years? Sure. It was I know when it. Uh, I know it. I definitely <laughs> I think I know. I think I know it. I think I know it. I think I know it. The ninja elimination. Yeah. Yeah. Or she's like, she's like, <laughs> yeah. suck it. <laughs> yes. Oh, that gave me everything. So good. So happy she's here. Yeah. So uh, so happy. I, I it's gonna be not wait for the Nicole situation. That's when I saw that Nicole, Laurel, Cara Ugh. in the same on the same show again. My God, so good. They yeah, did their I, casting work there. Ben, I don't understand it either. Especially with she like makes a comment saying that that you know her and Cara argue a lot, but she's always wanted the best for her. I'm like, I don't know how true that yeah. is. I it's. There's- been a lot of beef online. There's there's a lot with them. I I don't know if there's things that we just don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, I feel like Laurel's we all, like actually. got a healthy amount of drag delusion, and she's just <laughs> like uh, here living in her own world, spinning her fantasies until like the pavement meets the road. I don't know what that idiom is, but she doesn't go all the way through with it. Rubber hits well, the road? I'm, I don't know idioms. That you got well, it. I just I'm I'm glad Laurel's here because she'll always say what what she's she doesn't hold back a damn thing. I mean oh, nothing. No, that bitch has no filter. It is just from her brain out to everybody else's ears. But that's yeah, why I love her. Yeah. I mean, she you Dr. Stucky can't I mean she's always oh. gonna br- bring one hundred. So good, so good. She keeps it real. Is she oh, actually God. practicing? Like I, she, I, I mean, I who knows? I, well, she's filming season forty right now, so who knows? The I mean, animals will have to wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll move on because there's a lot to talk about her later. Um, Leroy after um after his short term retirement. Right, right, right. He was retired for like what three years, two years, barely. Double agent was the last yeah. one. Love Leroy. I'd love to see Leroy win. Don't actually think that's ever going to happen, but who knows? It'd be great. But like he's everyone's best friend. Like I do love Leroy, and everyone has always said that he's like the funniest person on the, on the show. Like within like to live with, he's. That he's the funniest one, and he's a barber. You will, that will always help if you can cut their hair, right? Well, I think maybe that's it. Like he's a barber, like that's the vibe. He just knows how to yep. talk to people, yeah. And and like that's a really cool, calming energy, especially in such a high tension, high anxiety place like the Challenge House. Agreed, agreed. All right, we'll move on to. Oh God! Ah, uh, ah, uh, peanut ready. butter. Uh, yes was so excited i mean i was excited for her but i was so excited for her and laurel i mean what a great combo oh delicious and i was so sad that we got so little of her on her last season when she went out in like the third elimination with like the dislocated shoulder when she fell in the netting off the truck or like the second episode that was so early. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm just ready for more of this like trash human. I mean, she's also I a mean, hero. Listen. She's like a firefighter and saving lives. So like I Right. I'll give her I'll give her her props for that. Trash human, like she's a wonderful civil servant, but like a reality TV tragedy. But I mean, let's just I mean, if there's one thing that's true, people from Staten Island give good TV. No matter what, like that's <laughs> let's be real. They do. They just do. Hello, Marie Rhoda. Uh, you're, um, you're a heroine. Steven, did you watch their X on the Beach season? X on the Peak? Yes, I did. How was it? Oh, yes, I sure did. Never uh, saw it. It. If you saw it, you would get a lot more. You'd understand this whole Laurel and Nicole thing a lot more. 
Like it's, yeah, yeah that, I mean, it's a tragedy and I do love backstory to tragedy. God, it's a tragedy. <laughs> uh, and as, as Nicole said uh, that, what did she say? That, that Laurel doesn't, there's no tension. Laurel's, and Laurel doesn't hate her. She's just still in love with her. And I know that for a fact. I'm like, okay. Okay, Nicole. I like, mean, I just my, can't wait to see it. I cannot wait. Uh, Rachel! Love Come her. on, sis. Snaps for the hey, OG. They were, they were give, they said this season is about to be LGBT. <laughs> I mean. Yes. I'm here look, for it. Listen, let give me Rachel and Nicole. Y'all can keep Casey. Give me, I'll oh. take these lesbians any day. <laughs> oh, absolutely. No. And Rachel's a fucking badass. Yeah. I'm she can crush excited it. for when the game gets smaller and the decisions get harder and Rachel keeps on fucking it up. Uh, and I can't wait to see how she gets Veronica a star. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, we'll see. Stranger but, things yeah. have happened. Tina just got a star. T yeah, and I mean, fucking Tina yeah. just got a star. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Tina, but like, bitch, like, it right. was a walkover. <laughs> Sorry, spoiler, but we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad to see Rachel back to finally reunite the Mean Girls. Yes, uh, they needed they should, a leader. They, they really did. Um, Ryan, I okay. There was like, is I'm, he even here? Like, have I? Seen I'm him fully here from him. A after one of yes, because there was one comment I'll bring up later that I know I know I enjoyed, and I'm sh I'm sure you did too. Uh, yeah, the wet underwear, duh. Uh, yeah, that was cute. <laughs> no, I like him, and I mean. He slid in my into my DMs one time, so I got to root for him. Ooh. Oh, he is a cutie, and I'm happy to have the queer representation here. Yeah, I mean, what two two gay dudes, two lesbians? Like, when do you ever get four? Right. Uh, I wish much we less could like get, even one. Uh, the trans guy from Are You the One? Queer season. I wish they would. I would take anyone from. From Are You the One? Was it nine? I was eight? thinking seven or eight. Who knows? The but queero? like the all queer season. Yeah. Are You God. the Queero? Like that was such a good yes. season of television. What went down in the DMs? Yeah. Just what did something. go down yeah. in the DMs? Just a little something, something. But he does follow me. But oh. just a little, a little something, something. Hey, Ryan. Oh. oh, Ryan can't hear me right now. He's also filming Challenge 40. Uh, moving on. Almost at the bottom. The hand Our job model hand himself. Model. Yes. I feel like that's all I know about him is that he is a hand model. I really did not. When he came for All Stars 2, I there's not many people you could put on the cast and me not know who they are. He was one of them. I, I had to really like dig so far back into my memory to remember anything about him but yeah. i yeah, i do fine. just yeah. just just from all stars 2 i mean i do like him um and yeah i i agree too i'm like there that little opening where he was using that um what do you call that dr hatton the theragun yeah um it was a little um it was a little horny it was a little horny presenting okay but aren't we into that generally yes Okay, and I'm so I, like, and I just want to like read the room, you know. Oh yes, and they, but I do love that the season so far has been a little like, like the sexual innuendos are very much there, like in oh, just the two episodes. Yes. There's been a few instances where I'm like, yes. okay, I'm ready I'm for like, them to just like be banging all over. Like, let's go down the water slide. Uh, as millionaire Mitchell anything. coined the term, I am ready for the Paula Dicking. Paula Dicking, baby. It works. Uh, uh, Tina Barta. Speaking of. <laughs> Who has she ever Paula Dicked with? I don't know, but I I'm don't sure think she would. Ever, she, she, she is a married lady. Fine, she, fine. She's married. 
and she is married. She is a real housewife. She, as she said, in season she a mom? two of All Stars. Is she what? Is she a mom? No, she said, so I love her opening line in All Stars 2. She said, I'm married. I, I don't work. I don't have kids. I can drink cocktails by my pool. Living and I'm the like, dream. Yeah, we're living right. the dream. She's like, yeah, I have a dog. Nice. She's like, I have a dog. I have a pool. I'm like, yes, Miss Tina. Yeah, I I'm here for her. her. Yeah, love yes, it. No, uh, Tina can be on my screen any damn day. I, I yeah, yeah ever was, since she it, punched Beth, she uh, is unlimited invited back to any challenge she ever wants to be on. What I legend I it put challenge legend. on the map. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it really did. It really did. No, yeah. she can she can she can do no wrong. Uh Tony time. Tony. Even there, he's so pretty and so Dumb looking, but so pretty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm I, excited to see him back. I feel like he hasn't had great storylines in the past. No, he's kind really of gotten a soft yeah. reset, though. Yeah, um, a lot of it has been like, who did he hook up with this season while his girlfriend's at home with his kids? Yep. So not the cutest, but he's hopefully hot. he can not cheat on his wife this season. And take off um, his shirt more. Yeah, that. Um, he's not <laughs> married yet, I don't think. No, they're not married? Sorry. sorry. No, because he did say they have kids, but they mama. have two kids. Yeah. But his living baby um, mama, may he not cheat on her. Do either of you know where the hell Tony Time came from? Because I don't really I don't get it. I don't I don't get it. I never thought he was a big enough character on the shows for there to be this phrase of his. And I, feel I think like it's that kind came- of in the season that he got kicked out for fighting. I think he got drunk and was shouting, it's Tony time. And then. But the way, this, like the way they say it, like how TJ says it, it's almost like I, the way he refers to himself as it is kind of mm. cringe to me. Oh, sure. It's, it's a little, it's a little price. cringe. Well, yeah. and that's his brand is cringe. So it's doing it. You're job. not wrong. You're not wrong. Did he get uh, kicked out the season for fighting with Camilla? Was that, did they get kicked out for that? I don't think so. No. Did he get, I, I don't know that he, has he been kicked off? I don't know. His that brother he has. has been. The brother His got brother, kicked off brother Friday. Has. Yeah. yeah, that was Dirty 30. And then, and then but Corey. Tony got kicked off. Well, Corey got kicked off for like body slamming him. When he threw the pasta out the window. Oh. So maybe okay. that that's. He was involved in the fight. That's what I was thinking. He of. was the one that like Corey just like took him right down to the ground. That was, and he didn't react. I'm shocked that he didn't react. Like that was kudos to him for that. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's here. It's Tony time, I guess. Sure. Well, we'll take it. Um, who's next? Uh, v cakes. Wife. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, a friend of ours who also watches the challenge um, was thinking. Uh, said that about Veronica, Veronica and Tori and Tori, uh, Brad's yeah. ex, real ex wife. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Right. And so now, just as an stupidest. inside joke, we yeah, call her Brad's ex wife. Stop. Oh my gosh! That having having that Tory in the house would have been great. Uh, so yeah, put, good. Put divorcees put Tori in the house Hall together. On there, yes. right? Uh, can you imagine? Brad would have been insane. Real life battle of the exes. Uh, yes. Or Brad and that skinny Brittany. Brittany. They were a mess together. They'd be great exes. Yeah. I, I don't think she has a good relationship with MTV. I love I love Britney because I oh, love no. I love some messiness, but they yes. what you bring her back. <laughs> just a little, just a little bit. Let's see, is there anyone else? Ah, oh, R.I.P. Oh, Wait, Janelle. Uh, maybe that's why they're putting her down there. Um, yeah, we'll get into that. Um, I do like Janelle, and I she there is some. I don't know if you've heard about like the suspicion of. Um, All Stars 2, how she kind of should have won that season. There's she didn't she didn't leave with a good taste in her mouth. Let's just uh uh 
in the in the chat, if you can remember what the T was with the All Stars two finale, um, with Janelle and Darrell, how they were supposed to have won, um, drop it in the chat because I can't quite remember what it is, but um, production was may have had their hands solo in the cookie jar. Uh, John A win All, All Stars two. All Stars no, that was John A. Was that was John. John a, that was a, MJ. No, All Stars two was John A. and MJ. All Stars three was John A. and Wes. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there anyone else on here? Oh yes, Tyree. Oh wow. Well. Okay. Now this man. Okay, for one, um, they definitely misspelled his name on the episodes. You, they're missing an E, and I had to start questioning myself like what's his name always like i knew that there was an e on it and they definitely misspelled his name um but one little like i guess i don't know if you call it an easter egg but one little thing they dropped in there is uh he talked about his daughter and the daughter's middle name is dm after dm brown uh, he confirmed yeah. that i was like that was very cute i was, I was that happy to hear really that sweet. that yeah. might have been his sweetest moment on challenge but I don't know if you know the stats, but this is his fourth time being first eliminated. No, I don't. There's no one else who's been on that many seasons and been the first boot. Maybe Derek. Four times. Derek's ah! been first boot a lot. Derek, no, that's not. I don't shade. think he's done it. I don't think he's done enough challenges to even. That was shade. But he, I mean, for, Derek uh, is an easy target. People like to target the gays. Sure, yeah. that's true. Uh, but I did. I wanted him to stick around a little longer because of this is who Jasmine's ex is, and so I did want him yeah. there for that storyline. Sure, I forgot about that. I uh -huh. do remember them dating was, on some challenge season. Was he on on Emily Strom's? Uh, real world season? Am I connecting those? No, two right? that's no, that's no. But that guy's name. I think you're thinking of Ty. His Ty. Name like okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. Tyree was on Denver. That had that crazy Jen. Had um, Davis. <gasps> oh, crazy day. Jen. Um, the cheerleader, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she did a lot of challenge. Oh my God, Wait, so funny. I, I, can, I, can, I can hear you. I could hear you. I could hear you on the uh, I could hear your echo. That was so funny. Um, no, yeah. Um, um I thought should be it. Yes. Okay. That's the cast. Now we can get into. I took a couple notes. I rewatched the episode, the two episodes today. Um what's what we got. Okay, I thought okay, I thought the whole intro that they did and like gay it looked kind of like um like a 70s movie or something when mm -hmm. they said like the BFFs, the this I thought that was said that was so well done and I'm a little shocked they even put that much effort into it. I thought that was that was really I am. I mean, look, I don't ever think that they'll put effort into the show. Sometimes. I mean, it feels kind of like though that the All Stars franchise is like a little boutiquey, like it's not like main franchise, and so they like to kind of distinguish it and do cutesy things. And I agree with you; I really liked it. Well, they also use it. I found out from Car Maria did Johnny Bananas podcast, and they use a different showrunner for All Stars than they do for Ooh, the main no. show. And the main show, they use Justin Booth and. He All I've heard fans. is yes, and he was has like a military background, and that's what he, that's his like thing. And Kara said just how different it felt. She wasn't trying to badmouth Booth because, well, she's doing his show right now, filming Forty. But I think she said some. This guy's name was Ryan. I don't know, but you can clearly notice just how different it, it is. The vibe um, seems to be way more chill for the players for the most part. Ayana withstanding LOL. I mean, yeah. And I just I thought it, I love just seeing them like have fun. Like they were going down the water slide, which looked very dangerous for one. That Did water it? slide, that the, the pool that you like slide into, it's like this, it's this long. It looked well, yeah, but like you you're coming in like right here, and the thing is this wide. You've got plenty of room. 
If you say so. Girl, you're just afraid of a water slide. Who hurt you when you were little? A water slide. <laughs> Clearly. But you're right. It does seem like they're having more fun on All Stars. There's just like a little bit. It's like a different vibe. And they, de I definitely feel that. I felt that all of the seasons. I feel like it's been a little bit more relaxed, a little less like snaky in a way, um, a little more direct. Maybe until now. Sure. Yes. Well, uh, it had to come to an end. I miss Kellyanne and what's her face's like high level anxiety from last season of All Stars, All Stars Three. I would have loved Kelly. Put Kellyanne on any season. <laughs> I put her on anything. I I I love Kellyanne. What was her yoga friend's name with the Kendall? Skin? Kendall. Oh, uh, yes. I couldn't think of Kendall's name for a second. Those two together were just like a an anxiety delight for me. <laughs> So wait, I, I jotted down a couple of them. They 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 called Rachel, Tina, and Veronica the BFFs. I'm like, well, they're the mean girls, but I guess the in this day and age. In this day and age, I don't think they want to label anyone as mean girls. But that's a term of endearment if you're sure from that us, from that time. Certainly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they Derek and Ryan were the besties. That's because they couldn't say homos. <laughs> <laughs> Brad was the beard. Kara sure. was the lone star. I'm like, well, don't set her up for that. Like, come on. I'm like, you could have put Polly in there. Well, actually, no, they couldn't have. Um, Jay couldn't swallow. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel and Nicole, awkward exes. Uh, I cannot wait for that. Cam and Leroy, the power couple. I'm like, yeah, accurate. Um, okay, so... I don't know if you guys can you guys tell me what this is with Cam having to like pump every two to three hours and saying that she's sending the milk or she's bringing the milk back to her kid. That's a like, thing. Well, maybe I guess she just pumped a shitload before she left so that he would have breast milk. Sure. Or I mean, well, you, free yeah. So when you're pumping, you in or a couple of things. Breastfeeding, really cool. Um you have to continuously pump to make sure that you continuously produce milk. And so you're pumping anyway, because if you stop pumping, your milk production starts to dry up. So that's one reason to keep pumping. And the second one is you can totally freeze it and she can freeze it and send it home and the babies can drink it. Okay. Okay. Work. Yeah. She said she, she had a C-sex. She's still pumping out milk, this or that. Yeah. And yet, and yet homegirl did it. I mean, she, she beat Leroy in the, in the first day, I mean, like mad respect to Cam and and to because moms yeah. are tough. Like by the time you've like made a baby inside your body, like you are a tougher human than many who have not. Well, that's the other thing about All Stars that I love. They bring moms on where oh yeah, it, like on the main on the main show, dads can always go back on, but they they never want to bring a mom. They never they never want to bring a current mom on the show. All they want to do is bring on. Uh, pregnant women. Well, they you know, know they love women. Amanda. Amanda's a mom. Yeah, Amanda. okay, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you are right about that. Um, wait a minute. Uh, Science question. Uh, it is not homogenized because it's not been processed. It's, t it's raw slash natural. And I assume it would separate, but I have not been around old breast milk to tell you the answer. <laughs> Normally it is Thank consumed you. as soon as it is produced. Thank you, Dr. Hatton. You're anytime. <laughs> I'm happy for this consult. That'll be $99.99. <laughs> um okay, so we'll just go in, okay into the daily. Um I, another part I thought was super cute and like as you said, boutique was showing like a little uh like outtake of TJ having to do do the the retakes of catching an apple the apple yeah that was cute yeah i, I loved appreciated that. that i'd like to see tj be a person i mean i love that he's a badass but he's also a person and like it's cute to see him miss the apple catch mm -hmm. the, i feel like the only time we really get jovial it was great the only time we really get to see i feel like really really get to see tj be himself is I guess maybe like during a uh, trivia challenge. Right. 
because like where he's just like busting out laughing. Yeah. Um, okay. So TJ explains the star system and I want to make sure we're all on the same page because some other channels have, I think I've got, I've gotten it. I've gotten it completely down. So the star system, basically the name of the game is, it, the star is the main focus of the entire game. And I, I really, I love this twist. It's not, it's not a stupid one. I think it, I think the way that it works is, is great. It's almost like it's the skull twist, but they actually but a little better. It. Yeah. They thought it, they thought it better. through so much more because I Very hated good. the skull twist. Like it seemed like it was going to be a good idea, but then, everyone just wants to go into elimination. Like that's not, that's not fun. Yeah. Like right. I don't want, like you need there to be like drama. Like there, there needs tension. to be deliberation. There should be tension. Yeah. It's not, instead of saying, no, I want to go in. No, I want to go in. No. Miss me with that shit. Well, um, and interesting too, that a winner can go down and get it. That's, I like that. That's a cool twist. I don't know why that was not exercised on episode two. Felt like it should have been after explaining the game, but it's there. Well, so so I guess it's so the the first star like this daily. I like that. I mean, it really meant something. It says, "Yeah, here are the stars. These are the people who have the stars." And I like that. Well, fast forward ahead when they go back to the house and they their Kara and Brad go into that little like room and everyone has a huge photo of oh, yeah. these guys. Or who has the star? So you can just see, like, okay, you could you're reminded every single day who has the stars. I'm like that's that cool. was a like, cool you, touch. Yeah, like you're, they're gonna it's gonna change every single like week. Every week, to week yeah. Like, the yeah. production I'm design like, is nice this season. Well, speaking of production design, did you notice that this is the same house they used on the world championship? Ah, oh, no. They've been, I think their budget's been cut a little bit because they haven't been going anywhere besides Argentina, Croatia, and South Africa for a couple of years now. And they've been reusing houses from the spinoffs and the main, right. like it's, it's been kind of weird, but I think they make some, they make some adjustments inside the house. Like I don't remember there ever being a water slide on, on the world championship. Like I think they just, they, I mean, I guess they got to do what they got to do, but they'll, well, those seasons also filmed, kind of back to back so and makes that's sense, probably why they did it they probably got to rent the whole thing and they got a better contract for renting that it for makes like sense. six months so because they did the same thing with all of the international spinoffs right. they used that same yeah, they, house the same so, house for the usa house. and the world franchises yeah um but so with the stars once you once you all have them then if you go into elimination, you can choose and, and you win. You can steal someone's star who aren't the daily winners. I think you can even steal the daily winners. Can you know? No, because that because that's the whole point of winning is that you have to you're able like if you win the daily, like you can't like if you're so a Brad winner, star couldn't be stolen last week. Correct. But What's funny about that, though, is you saw, so, okay, the first episode, there were two daily winners. Well, the second episode, there were four. Yeah. So that can get really tricky. That but, can get really tricky. But that was the one thing that was up in the air that a lot of people couldn't figure out. But Kara did confirm that on Banana's podcast that you need to win the dailies if you want to keep your star. And so... It just so happened that um, the second episode, all the, the four daily winners, none of them had a star. So that's why we didn't really come up. Um, and then, and then of course, yeah, you can, if you, if you win, you already have a star. Not only do you keep your star, you can steal someone else's, but it just has to be the opposite gender and it has to go to the opposite gender. Which and, is interesting. And, my, and Shirley is going to come into play that they've like made such a big deal about that or wait, no, it's not. So no, you can steal from any gender. Not, but it doesn't it can't, steal from the opposite gender. It has to stay in the same gender. 
Right. But it's like if um, if Kara went down and got a star, she could still steal another girl's star. It doesn't have to be a, a, a man's star. She can steal one, but it can't go to her if she already has her own star. Gotcha. Yeah. Right, um, and you can't have two stars. And that's how Veronica's getting her star. All the mean <laughs> girls. I mean, I, that's the name of the game. Um, so as far as like the dailies go, I can't really ever remember how it, like I that's not that's not my shtick when I come on here. They're, like I watch the dailies, <laughs> but you know, I'll pay attention to the eliminations for the most part, but there's just a lot of like moving parts and I I get I take in about 75 80% of the dailies cuz I don't I didn't know what they were doing in the first one. I don't know what they were doing like a puzzle of some sort and then had to run. I'm just like uh yeah whatever. Maybe this was a 90 minute episode I would but um you are funny. It was a puzzle. It was like a weird geometric puzzle or something. They had those little the the star shapes, but they had different holes cut in them. And they're so like pegs or like, something. Yeah, you had to like align them on the correct pegs. But it was you, was it just that once you figured that out, then you just go? Because I felt like there was like back and forth. Yeah, so each um, pedestal had a different alignment of the the little like bolts that you had to like sit the star on. And so each star, the cutouts were different. So you had to match the correct star with the correct pedestal and there were like eight of them or 10 of them or something. Yeah. Okay. But, so, but a lot of people like didn't figure that out and they didn't know how to like measure the stars. But then you saw like some people like measuring the spaces between the holes with their fingers or, or Ryan. Speaking of that, I that's the size. comment when Ryan said that he, <laughs> when he said that he was measuring it by, by penis size, I'm like, I've literally done that for things before. I'm I mean, like, like who I, has not? <laughs> well, okay, so I've always known it as it's this. And I, I think that's from like an episode of Friends where I think I found that out. I don't know where that came from, but Ryan, like this is supposed to be like, I think it, that's supposed to be like your own penis size, like if you're measuring yourself. But I'm like, well, this can go to this really quick. But <laughs> Ryan, Ry I looked back today when I rewatched, Ryan went like this. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's a little, it's a little more accurate for like, I just think of it. I'm like, I can tell what six inches looks like. You're like, I'd hit it. <laughs> well, maybe if it was like that, I would, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, she is a size queen after all. I don't know. Uh, Ryan, I don't know who you're talking about. Tee hee. I think some of the um, contestants didn't realize you could flip the star over because if you were trying to put it on the other way, it has a different pattern, I think. Oh. Right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Well, and hell, look at a star. You can just, you can rotate, you can do a lot, you can yeah. do a lot with that if it. Oh, but there okay. were some people that were like, I went back and forth like more than the amount of times there were stars. I right. think those people realized you flip it over. If it's not matching, you gotta like try ten combos instead of five well, combinations. Well, and that's why I'm I'm a little shocked that Kara was first, just because that was that's not really been her strong suit. Like, no, but that really bitch can like change a tire, and that was basically like lining up a tire on lug nuts. It's what it felt like, honestly. But then I also like. <laughs> What? I don't know why that fire. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. You're right. You're right. And and like she lives out in like what Wyoming, Montana, like oh, somewhere out in like honey, a horse ranch honey, or something. Honey, no, not anymore. Her and Polly moved to Florida a little while ago. Uh, that Ooh. tracks so they can be that... great again. <laughs> Wait, hold on. But okay. it was also a hill climb, and that is way in cars. The endurance was impressive. Wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, and no, I think you could you just had to solve them in order. And so like there was a one at 10 meters, one at 20 meters, and so on. And so you just had to solve the 10 meter one first before you could go to the next one. Or maybe you had to go to the furthest one. I don't know, but you had to solve them one. I two, think you three, could four. only take one star at a time. Because otherwise you could only take you one star at a time. Bring all late. Yeah. Okay. Um a huge highlight, which okay, we I have to give the biggest props to 
the person who does the soundtrack for All Stars. It is always ah, delicious. Rumors, just, uh, the Lila song Rumors. Yes. <laughs> My God. And, like right at the time. But I love they played You Oughta Know when yes, right as Paul was winning. I'm like, God, this this hits so perfectly. Yes, yes. Like I mean, it, it is MTV hit. after all. They should have a good soundtrack. Well, you would think that, but they just don't really do that that much anymore in the main show. And but it's also, you know, our throwback music. Like Right, right, right. I, we got we got like Ride With Me by Nelly. Like we got you all we always get good stuff. Like that's one of my favorite things about All Stars. That's what makes it feel like we're watching old school challenge. Um so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um so okay, this whole top group, middle group, loser group situation. Yeah, it's that's very interesting to me because one thing that it's it's so not me to think of it like that to think of it this way but a lot of fans like it and i kind of like it now but you need to win or at least just not lose if you don't want to go into elimination because you know for a while it was always you know uh one of the two people going into elimination is like the first one out or like the loser with the shortest amount of time. For a lot of seasons, they did that. And then the other person was voted voted in some one way or another. This way, there's a loser group each daily. So your the selection of people that you are going to send in is going to be much smaller than, than hell. I, can, I really don't remember a time where like on any challenge season where it was a loser like group and you had to choose from those people to go in. It wasn't just like, Oh, this person lost and they're going in and then we're, and then like the Troika or whoever oh, are going to. Yeah. It's not, like, it's not like, the it's not like then you, it's not like then you have like some people just choosing any, anyone who's in the house that they want to go in for different reasons. So as long as you don't come in the loser group, then you are probably not you're not going to go into elimination so which is cool can, yeah and but it is it is strange though that the um the middle group they're the only people who vote in deliberation of oh, top for, group isn't voting no okay. so the winners the winners the the whole point i guess of winning a daily is to either keep the star you already have yeah. or be able to volunteer to go down and get a star. Mm. And the one, uh, one huge benefit is let's say you're in the winner group and you don't have a star yet. Instead of just saying, you know, you show up, you just show right up to elimination and TJ asks you, do you want to come down and get your star? Do you want to come down at your star? No. TJ first explains the entire setup of the, of the elimination. And I'm like, when you know exactly what you have to do, instead of just like looking at what you could be doing, right. that's huge. That's huge. Because you're going to know, right, can I do this or not? Right. We were so, both shocked that neither Laurel nor Nicole went in. Well, I had a I had a theory on that, which what? well, no, I didn't. I take that back. I didn't have a theory. I, another YouTuber's channel, I they said this theory, and it just totally makes sense it, when you know them. Let's say that Nicole was asked first by TJ, "Do you want to come in?" I think she would have said yes, but because Laurel said no, oh. Nicole's like, "Yeah, nah," and I think that. And had Nicole been asked first, she would have, she would have said yes to, Keep not Laurel only because she, well, she wasn't thinking herself exactly. She wanted to take the power away from from Laurel, so and I think she loves she, to do that. Yeah, so I think she, um, she definitely would have done that. Do we think we'll get a scenario where both people say yes, or do we think it's well, just that's, the first person to say yes gets it? Right, that's a little weird. We just haven't seen that happen. Yeah, yet. we'll see what happens. I mean, everyone else might be pretty respectful 
I, these two ladies would have fucking cut each other if they had decided they wanted to go for it. Oh, that would have been delicious. It would have been delicious. Um, side note, okay, in that first um, daily, okay, a little Mr. Tony time, not only did he think this was baseball and decide to like slide his way in. Uh, I loved it. I saw it and I lived. And then he pulled Veronica's flag. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I like he's an idiot, but like that's his brand. We he's an idiot, and we love him when he's not cheating on his significant other. It's hooked on Fox time, not Tony brand. time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to go, um, the first deliberation happens, and that was that wasn't too difficult of one. I mean, they Cam straight. I love Cam straight up came in to that deliberation. She said. Well, um, I'm just going to start this off. Um, don't say Leroy. Right? <laughs> I'm like, I mean, just say it how it is. Yeah. Um, can y'all not do Leroy? Thanks. And so they voted. I mean, it, was not, it wasn't any surprise to me, Tyree and Steve. I mean, had to be, had to be what it had to be. And that elimination, I guess I got it. Um, it was funky. I'm, it was funky yeah. that you could hide the balls and well that there's a game similar to that that happens on Big Brother that I would always like when you you'd have to go oh my god it's so similar now that I think of it you have to go into water and you know get certain like answers or there there's something on the balls or whatever yeah if you find them go ahead and like he said use a squirrel method collect them all do them later like that he did have a good a good method for it but um yeah, Tyree's out, Steve wins, and he steals Brandon's star. I mean, that was a safe pick. Yeah, very safe. I can't remember who all has the stars. Okay, there's Rachel, Brad, Cara, Cara, Cara um Avery. it was it was Brandon. Oh yeah, yeah. Avery. And then there's one Who was the third guy? Adam. Was it Adam? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Work. he like showed up. He did, yeah, Work. yeah, yeah. He, in that first episode, so Work. I mean, honestly, it makes sense to me that that's who he picked. Do you yeah. want to have a star this early? Like we no, were talking about because that. I don't think so either. There's a term that I start. They I started to hear them. I noticed uh, them say it. They call it a target because sure. you're, oh. you're a target because you have a totally. star this early. But, Although the nice thing is you don't have to go into elimination to lose a star. And so you can, people can go after your star without necessarily trying to eliminate you from the game. Now, obviously that's going to cause some rifts. So you might want to do both at the same time, but you don't have to. Well, I mean, yes, they don't, they can steal their star without sending them home. But all that means is that they are guaranteeing that person will it's have to go ass. into elimination again to get a star right. or oh, totally. they have to trust that one of their allies can go down and get them a star. Totally. So it's like you, it's, it's an, it's kind of up, up, uphill battle. I mean, to keep, to keep a star the whole time, I, yeah. I'd be shocked if anyone. It's going to be really tough. I doubt. I agree. I don't think anyone time. who started with a star ends the game. You with the same star. Back with the same star. Sure. Yeah. I, I would I would be shocked if that happened. Um, okay, moving to episode two. Uh, I think it kind of starts out with Laurel and Nicole being awkward as hell in the kitchen. Like oh, that was that was delicious. I'm just like I was like eating my popcorn from like, my dude why would you, popcorn bucket. <laughs> like, why would you even go like into the kitchen at the same time? I would just like it, it's it's clear they, they don't really want to each ignore other. each other. Right, yeah, they don't right, want to right. ignore each other. It is an obsession. Oh, it's like it was kind of giving. Like, how good like, is the punani? Like, that's what I want to know. Which ones? <laughs> I, obviously, each other. No, you you already know. You already on know. each other. You already know Nicole, Nicole is the dumb top. Oh, she is the dirty one for sure. She's the one blowing Laurel's mind. Like, I have no doubt. Blowing Laurel's. I well mind. <laughs> Tee hee. Yes. Okay. She's given that good dome, if you know what I mean. Oh, is that the is that what we're calling the arena this year? 
The ah, we should. Um. Okay. So one thing I also realized: whenever it's a girls' day elimination, those are always better episodes. You, it's they're always better episodes all around. Always, 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 always. Except for when one of them gets eliminated, because I'm like, honestly, just give me the challenge all stars, all girls. Ugh, you like, would watch it. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. Watch it. It'd be fantastic. It would be delicious. Hell yeah. All gr- no, all girls and gays. Yeah. Br- bring them. Ugh. Are you Millie a Mitchell? challenge? Ugh, yes. Please bring her back. Who? Millionaire Mitchell. Millionaire Mitchell. Right. Don't make they eyes know. like that at her. But she's great. She is great. Um, no, I did that because I'm so pissed that she's not on anymore. Well, good yeah. because she and not is it's a everything. crime that she's not on challenge that she's not on challenge forty. It is a fucking crime. Is she it still is. like it's a crime that Camilla isn't on either because uh, Camilla yeah. was Camilla was, was like phenomenal. my heart. Yeah, that would. <laughs> no. I hate it. Would it. Be great. It would be great TV. I know, but so, for some reason, they something always happens with the. With the women who have won the the challenge before, they unless your name is Tori or Casey, something always ends up happening. Whether you get Jenny Wested or, I mean, that was so sad for Jenny West. Um, okay, the, um, well, okay, there there is a little um, foreshadowing because one of the first scenes I picked up was Jasmine is kind of filling in Cam about Ayana, right? Just like. How she's like polarizing and she, she would um, be difficult to work with. I think she said something like that. And a lot of people said she's very difficult to live with mm-hmm. as well. And that there were just like a lot of fights on All Stars 2. Um, so yeah, that's some heavy foreshadowing right there. Um, but the daily or the mission, um, I loved it because we haven't gotten anything like road rules, like truly related in so long. And I'm like, I was so happy to see them pay homage to that show. Cause I mean, I used to watch that shit too. And they, when they said Winnebago, I'm like, Oh my God, Get like what a Winnebago. throwback. It was delicious. And but- it was a, it was a, stu- I, w- when I saw the car, like the cars, van- well, the Winnebagos, I'm thinking, you know how the challenge loves their car themed episodes that they just need to get rid of yes. a truck theme like over that but is this that from one, tj they're... because he's like a motocross person is that like mm-hmm. his love of vehicles like bleeding into the franchise no he doesn't really have a say he's he's got an earpiece he doesn't he's not he's not an ep oh he's not i thought he was no he's he's just, he's the face and that's why they always say like he always says like if you're going to run my final or he always says like my this my that it's just like they need a a full blown face to sure. I thought he had more I, to say that's all I had I looked that up when I'd, I I cuz I took a little a little break from the challenge um probably it was like when I was like moving to New York and I just like didn't have much less cable didn't have a TV in my shoebox but then I when I came back to it, I'm like, you know, he does say my final a lot. Let me let me look it up. And yeah, no, no EP creds. Ah, yeah, so sad. But Mark Long has an EP cred this this time, and he hadn't always. They well, Mark Long has he has a little less say in the show than he used to. Which well, we'll talk about that later. We that's clear. Um, yeah. Okay. So this daily, all I got, you had to spin in the air. You heard like little like goofy radio comments from um, from TJ, and then you had to I don't know you had to build a puzzle after that. Yeah, the puzzle um, was kind of silly, but it was the Road Rules logo, and I loved it was, that. It was, it was. And there's a lot of Road Rulers on this season. Typically, they, you know, the I think they bring they tend to bring back more real world people because. You're just a little, you're much more memorable if you were on the real world because of, you know, just how, how long those seasons were. Like, I mean, they, people who filmed the real world, they were in, in the, like, they lived together for like five months. I'm like, that is such a long amount of time. Like, but you get to know them more than you would on, you know, road rules. Right. Um, uh, where, 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 where am I? Uh, okay. Now, <laughs> I love you, Kara. 
but your maths ain't mathin'. I mean, that was so hard to watch. She that was never so been hard able to, to watch. Math. But you don't have to math. You just count. You you count on fingers. I mean, it, like this. That's what this. That's what um. That's what this is referring to. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Didn't she say it was like eight hundred and twelve or she, something? No, she was like, she was like, wait, the, she was like, is it eight eighty or is it or no, it's eight seventy nine? And I'm like, if, it, if it's eight seventy two, you just start on two. One, Whoa. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, but none of them got like Avery couldn't either. But I was just like, oh, Cara. Use your fingers. Like, what does it matter? Count like, out loud. Yeah. If you don't know it, use your fucking fingers. Okay. And but listen. if you, can I just tell you, if you don't yeah. know what two plus eight equals, using your fingers is probably not actually going to help you. But it can get you there. Well, it's like you don't need to know math. You just have to count, count out loud, even. And, One, and what two. I'm telling you is people that are that bad at math probably can't count. Uh, don't come for Nicole Z like that. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I, that, was, I, that was hard to watch for me. I'm like, I don't like seeing Cara have bad moments, but my God. I, I, and sorry, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm a little biased, but I just, I don't ever understand when people don't understand math. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, it's, you can't argue with it. It just Are you is. like secretly a math genius over there, Steven? Oh my god, I girl, I I was I was um was she like I, I was Lindsay I was I was I was Lindsay Lohan on on um Mean Girls. The I was on the exist. math team. I was on the math team. I literally Stop. took an extra math. I took an extra math class as an elective, like my senior year uh, of high school. She is like, the it, quadratic formula over there. Oh wait, I, I literally have <laughs> I I made a song up in eighth grade to remember. Uh. It. And, to, and, and it was in the sound, it was to the chorus of Milkshake by Khalees. Can you still do it? Uh, <laughs> my negative B plus or minus square root, and it's like B square minus 4AC, damn right, B square minus 4AC, and it's all over to A. Yeah. I'm like, right. I'm like that, was a, that was a great project, because I will never forget that, because anytime I hear Milkshake, that's what I'm going to know. That was spectacular. Thanks. You can buy it on iTunes soon enough. Um, the real equation was eight times seven equals thirty. Oh yeah, no, if I don't, yeah, I guess you're. I guess you're right, William. Like if you if you're bad at math, you not you're not going to be able to do any of it. I feel like twelve of them were throwing things out like that. It was that one team. It was like Kara, Brad, Avery, and someone else, and that, that was so hard to watch. My God. But like, I feel like if you're going on challenge. Like, work on your arithmetic just like this much, like on the plane ride over, like have a little arithmetic book or something. Yeah, like Leroy that. said he had been practicing his math. Yeah. Like, right. don't, don't just run. Like, don't, don't just work on, like, there's a lot of things you need to work on, you know, like play puzzles on your phone. Like, CT talks about that. He does a lot of those um, tangrams, tangrams, tangerine, pu the tangerine puzzles. Yes. As Darrell would say. I uh, I won the Tanagram puzzle section in a game that Lanny and I played not too long. I've never done one. I want to try. I want to try one to see if I, huh, if I ever could. And then, oh well. Then you also get. I had to. I had to write this down because Flora is. She's my confessional queen so far this season. I mean, <laughs> literally every. She is the Marie. But she uh, said. She said. Flora says the math situation. That's not for me. It's I'm like, not for her. At least she's self aware. You know. You. Yeah. You know what it is. <laughs> she should have gotten her daughter to come in and do the dailies for her. Mm -hmm. I loved the daughter, the tennis daughter, though. That was good for me. Um. Oh, okay. One thing I wanted to point out. This was, you could really tell a lot by this one short little scene when Kara is doing the daily and it goes back to Laurel. Laurel says car cracks me the fuck up no speed no urgency and she looks around to the people around her like kind of like looking for validation like yeah and nobody gives her that at all she like she was looking for the validation of like shit talking Kara and her abilities and no one gave it to her it was it was really well it's because people are afraid to shit talk Kara and Laurel is perhaps one of the only people there that could do something about Kara and she's not afraid to shit talk I don't and think Laurel are, is a shit talker. I don't think Kara or people are afraid of shit talking Kara. I think 
I would be more afraid of not agreeing with Laurel. Like I would, I yeah, would have said, I, I mean, she's a time bomb. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and then, and then, okay. So then I guess the next team, Laurel and Nicole are on the same team. What do you know? Uh, magic. And just some side tea. The, um, they said you'll be randomly chosen. And then I can't remember who, who it was on what podcast. Some, I don't know if it was Janelle. No, maybe it was Cam. I can't remember who. I just listened to one, but you know, they actually said that they, they each team had like a team captain and they chose the teams. Oh. So I, I don't know why they would say randomly. I'm like, just show that. But that wait, which idiot chose both? That's Laurel what I want to call. That's what I. That's time? what I'm wondering. Yeah. Maybe they were the last to choose. I, I don't know how that how that worked. And I guess just for uh, to save time, since these are only like uh, 44 minute episodes, they just had to say they probably redubbed TJ saying randomly chosen. Sure, sure. Little ADR. Unless I see Heidi Klum pull their name from the button bag, like I don't believe it's random. And I still won't believe that. Oh, um, she said and, that button okay. bag was rigged. So the losing <laughs> team was well the first team didn't complete work. well yeah they did I'm trying, remember, I'm trying to remember how this how this went down because they each had two yeah well the winning team of course nicole laurel tony i think at the j was the other one but i'm trying to remember how maybe it was the bottom two teams anyone could it go must have been because there were four women up for elimination. Exactly. Four. Yeah. So that had to have been how that worked. Um, because my next note is basically they go back to the house and Janelle asked to go in. And this was when things really. Yeah. Really what a occur. shit stir for volunteering to go in. <laughs> oh, hi, Eddie. Welcome to the chat. So glad to have Cara back as well. Um. Yeah, Janelle asked to go in, but I okay. I don't disagree with Ayana on like when Ayana says she says, she says that she doesn't want to give her what she wants without getting something in return. It's like why am I gonna just give this to you? Because listen, going into elimination, that's not it's it's not it's not not a bad thing, but it can definitely be a good thing. You get a star, so. Like just because some I hate because I don't I don't like when when cast members give like when they don't I don't like when they just volunteer themselves in because then there's no deliberation there's uh, you know it it's just a freebie because nobody wants to say anyone else's name well I honestly said mm, no we're, that's not that's not what we're doing and yeah, be she any was freebie with not her. happy about that damn. I mean, I okay, you're a cast member though, and someone's like, I want to go in. I'm I'm gonna give them their wish though. Like, why am I gonna rock the boat over that? Why am I gonna vote for anyone else? Would you yeah. um I think it would have to be a really unique situation, maybe so maybe more so when it gets a little closer to the end. Right, sure. At the least... very beginning, to have somebody volunteering to go in, that's Shit. such an easy yeah. pick. No blood on my hands, very easy, very clean, easy political game. Like, why make such a big fuss out of that? Well, because she likes to, but... Yeah, and... <sighs> and I'm here yeah, for the that... drama, honestly. But I mean, I'm 1,000% I'm here for it. Um, okay, so then they go to... They have their club scene and whatnot and uh laurel and um laurel and cam are having a conversation and cam brings up the possibility of you know laurel and nicole going in like they're like she's like have you guys thought about you know this you two go down each go down to the sand and settle your settle your differences and <laughs> laurel said verbatim it would be lovely to smash a head. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl. 
Slow your roll. Slow, she slow your roll. Edge. Slow your Are roll. Are we still at bot out clubs for challenge? Is that where we're yes, at? Yes, and I hate I hate it. it too, but it's much better than Club Snow Globe that they did during uh, COVID. Don't talk about Club I Snow mean, Globe like that. That was that was where they sad. had two drink tickets. Yeah. Not cute. The drink tickets started um that actually started on Spies, Lies, and Allies, the season after that when that was that, after nani threw the cup of noodles right no it was more so, it kind of just it started it was either double ages with the snow globe or it was it was a post-covid thing but i guess on spies lies and allies they were getting too drunk and then i even i even tweeted because i i tweeted at, um millionaire mitchell and i'm like because there was that one scene where she's like having a fight with nelson she's like Berna, it's Bertha, Bertha, it's Bertha, and she was drunk. And I and I tweeted her. I was like, I said, "Girl, whose drink tickets did you steal that night?" <laughs> she was like, "She was like, I think it was Amanda's. I stole." <laughs> like, they... sometimes you have to. <coughs> Are we still? Is All Stars on a drink minimum? That maximum? I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it. I would. I. I really hope not. I, mean, I, I really hope not that. either. Laurel should not ever have a, a drink a limit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let that girl go. I don't know how she <laughs> is with drink, drink with drinking though. I if she's a them, beast, like she is with everything else. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> um, so here's where the shit really starts to pop off. Uh, Ayana right. says that Janelle is actively seeking out Jasmine, the most vulnerable person in the house, and she plants that seed. And I do, I do like she was at least self-aware of what she was doing. And listen, at at face value, that is a I love that snake villainous move. Like, yeah, who says you have to tell the truth? Set someone up, set them up, sure, set them up. But I feel like the thing is with how this has exploded mm -hmm. and with her behavior in deliberation. While she did get Janelle out, I mean, through bullying, sadly, then through elimination, she also has to put a huge target on her back. Like, who's going to want that mess in the house with them? Who's going to want question. to go against them? And against have, Ayana? Like, well, not just in the sand, but, I mean, look, if you can see if, if there's an Ayana would not Ayana have been able to crush that run up and down that warped wall video game controller thing oh i couldn't even i because that was like, a, like a ninja warrior ob like obstacle basically meets button mashing you never know do you remember you remember the the very she was in the very first all-stars 2 um elimination and they had to like pull oh, all that weight right, yeah. and she and she went back she and helped she, leah pull it back pull it with her that's like, true that's true she's got heart there's, there's no doubt. Ayana has heart, and Ayana wants to be there. There's no question. She slept in her uniform. Yeah. <laughs> because she was ready to, uh, like, two different seasons, yes. But all she uh, does but, is sleep in her uniform. It's like that bitch didn't bring any clothes. But I love, though, when it finds, like, the whole bar is talking about this, and it gets back to Janelle, it gets to Jasmine, and then Janelle's uh, finally confronted by Jasmine. And that's when rumors starts, uh, starts right uh, that yes. was wow, chef's kiss that was that was real that was Come that was Lilo. so good yeah it was that was delicious. so good that was so 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 good but that but then when i think that was the end of the club scene but when they're back in the house and i don't know the timeline of the real stuff that happened versus the game stuff that happened but janelle's already kind of like Heated. Basically, like, cry, like, and like, kind of borderline. I don't know if she's full blown crying yet, but she very is. emotional for sure. And and Ayana just spins it. She's like, no, she's a gaslighter. She's she's doing this to make you feel bad for her. da da da. And I mean, the only thing is, it's that they also Ayana had beef with Jasmine and Janelle on All Stars Two as well. Right. So that's right. already carried over. Absolutely. And it's like they know the people. It's not like about certain instant like things that happen, but it's it's well, vibe and it's history. Yes. And they're back in another another house. 
I mean, obviously I mean, that's, that's going to be your first target. Obviously. Mm-hmm. But when this deliberation happens, she was I've... reclaiming her time, Stephen. I love what she said. She was like, bitch, I am reclaiming my time. You cannot cut me off. I must know. I need to know how long that <laughs> that really took. Like, I think I've heard utterings of like 45 minutes, but like I I don't know. I, I feel really like want to know. did say 45 minutes to an hour. Well, I think that they were embellishing. But, yeah, that was hyperbolic, right? But well, I, I think it wouldn't surprise me if it was at least 20. Like, I no, really no. would in now like how reliable is this probably not very but in i'm big in the challenge subreddit and people there subscribe to cam's patreon oh they were talking a lot of stuff about it and cam and leroy both said that it lasted at least 45 minutes if not over an hour wow do you think maybe the whole deliberation or just ayana no they said specifically ayana and and they went on to say that like five or six people got up and left and they all, they showed Leroy getting up and leaving and like him being frustrated. But like he was not the first person to do that. Several other people had already gotten up and stormed out and he was like the fourth or fifth person to do it. Did they come back in though? Because the, everyone was still there. I don't, I could not, the hmm. way that was edited was a little bit weird because it, like everybody was away and then they were like all back together and so well, I, I would, I would normally think, if it's a situation like that, production would step in and be like, right, but I think they saw, I think they saw what they had on their hands, and they're like, no, we're not saying a word, <laughs> right? We're not, well, we're not saying a word. Ayana is just like doing the most. But then we got so little of it. Like I feel like I get it, and they edited it to make it feel like it was a long time. But like, if she's stumping for forty five minutes, like. I would have loved to see more of it, but I know I liked I liked the way they edited it because (laughs) it was it was so funny where they took where like they did like the little clock and each thing she said when it went from like one thing to another had made no sense from the last thing. So she was like she was like if I push a button and then she and then she goes she says I'm willing to go extinct extinction everybody dies. (laughs) <laughs> and my favorite line, my favorite line, oh my God, just her lines. She says, this ain't charity. Consider me the grocery store. You going to eat good, <laughs> you're going to pay for it. You're going to have to pay for it, yeah. You're going to pay for it. Said that. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck the does that even store. mean? I, I, I can't, I can't. And then Leroy tries to like cut her off and she's like. like and I'm reclaiming say, my time. But it's so fun when Leroy says that, everyone else kind of like laughs like, <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 I didn't cut you off. You're not going to cut me off. And then she even, she's a great gaslighter. I don't know if she knows it or not, but then she even says, oh, now you're cutting in an ace's time. I'm like, well, what about uh, when you? When and you ace was, was, was like, like uh, no, nah, I, like, I don't care. I don't, I don't, yeah. She's like, I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, that was the most great time smoke. ace has had in two episodes. Right, so. right, right. That was Ace's but, big breakout moment. But, like, even Flo- Flora goes, yo, what the fuck are you doing in the confessional? Right. And then you right. see, you see like, you see Ayana start doing things with apples. And I'm like, what? I don't know what this girl was trying to explain. That was so... And then my, the, my favorite thing, she said, the so apples my vote is for funny. Jasmine. Like, after saying the whole time, I'm not voting for Tina, I'm not for Judge, my vote is for Jasmine. And then I don't even think she gave a second vote. I'm just like... No, she didn't. <laughs> And isn't that when Lee left? He was like, "Yeah, You've got like, to explain and if, that. if you if you're gonna piss Leroy off that much, he's like, no, I, I can't do it.'" And then I loved because only the middle, like, people get to like the losers don't get to be in it, and the winners don't get to be in it. So when Leroy comes storming out, you see like Laurel and Nicole, like they're all just waiting, like having no idea what's happening there. They're like, "What the hell's going on?" Like, like you see, I could only imagine what they had, what their thoughts were like. Oh, Leroy storming out, and then oh, you hear, you hear Ryan in the background say, "Um, he said, does it start with an A and end with an A?" Right? Said, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And then, and then they said, "What Leroy said, I'd rather watch paint dry for the next three years than listen to Ayana." And Cam says, "I'd rather eat a denim jacket than listen to Ayana." <laughs> I mean, uh, it must be terrible, like. 
I cannot imagine sitting through 45 minutes of somebody just like ramble bullshitting. I would, that would make my skin crawl. You would have left the room. Ab- you're right. I absolutely would have left the room. I did. I also, um, honorable mention to Kara for right when, um, <laughs> right when Ayana says, so my vote is for Jasmine. Huh? Kara <laughs> just likes it. Huh? <laughs> And for Cara to say that this is the weirdest, for this for her to say this is the weirdest deliberation she's ever been part of. Homegirl's been part of a lot. Yeah, what yeah. twelve challenges? She, twelve. I think it's like it's done. like fourteen or some, is it fourteen or some shit. Wow. Like I mean, that's a so many. So and think of like every single episode. That's a lot. Um, mm. but that came that came to the end of my notes because we know after that, like Janelle says, she's like she's gonna leave. And you see just Ayana like back there like dancing. Yes. And, and I think it's time, it's it's time to I need to be very careful about how this is set stated, but it's time to get into the like T of it all with Ayana. So I'm gonna be real careful with how I say this. I've known for a while it was very early after they even got into the house gamer tweets saying that there was a very tumultuous fight that happened between a lot of them but with ayana um again pretty much ayana against janelle cam leroy brandon jasmine, jasmine too yeah and where they had at the time it was just it was stated as they had a very difficult, like, f- ar- not just like conversation, but argument about about race, politics, you name it. And oh my gosh, now I'm I, I gotta I gotta start this out before anything. I mean, I'm not about to paint Ayana's anything because she is badly dealing with breast cancer right now literally just had a she just had a something it's called a bilateral mastectomy the day that all stars premiered and so nobody needs to be talking any kind of shit about her like i'm just like that's not what she needs right now i'm just gonna i'm just kind of stating what is allegedly true but Ayana, as far as with Janelle, she made a claim that Janelle is basically, and these are her words, not mine. I don't know. I can't relate to this type of situation because I'm a white man. But Ayana had said that she found Janelle to be racist and not black enough. And I thought this was to Janelle, but I think it was to Jasmine that she told her, and this is very loosely translated, that she's basically like disgusting for marrying a white man. Hmm. And I guess maybe she's, she could have said that to Janelle too, because I think they both are. Well, Jasmine was, but, um, and that's a very, I can't relate to that, and but I'm sure that's got to be a very difficult thing to conversation to be. It's definitely like, a big conversation, there. and that makes a lot more sense of why. And see, I don't, I don't like, to, I don't like to use the word like bully at all for anything. To be, to be fair, and because I don't know if I'd say that's bullying but you are kind of just like saying some bad shit to someone but i i mean actually breast cancer survivor or not i am gonna go out on a limb and say miss ayana bullied janelle now i'm not necessarily calling into comment the things that may or may not have been said off screen but we literally know she lied about things that Janelle said, spread rumors in the house, all in an effort to fuck over Janelle. And if that's not bullying, I mean, it's gameplay, whatever, but 
I mean, like you're like literally lying about somebody. And then well, so there's this also came up that apparently there was someone else who or there's two things. Apparently, Janelle may have actually said that about Jasmine, but not in a very direct way of like, give me Jasmine. I want her. I can beat her. But she did not say Jasmine. Sure. She, I mean, she looked around the house. She saw who was up for voting. And she, you know, it was, a like you said, a small number of people. And she's like, it's probably not going to be the house vote because of this relationship. It's probably that leaves us here and here. I'm volunteering. So it's one of these two ladies. But also, apparently, Ayana had a sidekick. Whoa, Crispy, you took the words right out of my mouth. That's just what I was saying. Yeah, Ayana had a sidekick that was helping her in this situation. And it's the person's been unnamed. And I have Wait, no what? idea. Yes. I don't know about this. Tell me. Jasmine. So Jasmine, she'll spill the tea. Like, right. She'll spill it. And I'm pretty sure Jemmy's gonna is she's getting her on her podcast, and I can't wait for that. Because uh, so far, but, Jasmine has stood up for Janelle in everything I've seen in her socials. Yes, and and Janelle, uh, somebody had asked, you know, can you exp like on I think one of Janelle's Instagram. Um, oh, I saw that. Yeah. Post, you know, like Janelle basically said, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about this, so because I don't know what's going on on with that, but. She right. She said she did not feel like everything had been shown, but she was ultimately uh, accepting of how it was portrayed. I think was how her Instagram post. But ran. I think I don't know if there's some legal thing with it, but it's it was to the point where when I saw that tweet from Gamer that was I think it that was like was, two years ago. It was like it was January ago. January know, it was of 20, January of twenty three. Yeah, but. The, the whole tweet, it straight up said, this will not be shown on the episode. So for them to know that far in advance, this will not be shown. Something else went down. Like production definitely had some sort of talk with them. Like they, if gamer can know in advance that that will not be shown. Like well, it was clearly far. really serious, but it kind of, I mean, it, this was actually Lanny's comment. So I feel like I should throw it to him, <laughs> but he had talked about how real world in its conception was about, you know, real people having real conversations and like, you know, exploring life. And sometimes that's difficult. And the challenge is just like totally 180 on that and like run away from anything that is remotely difficult or challenging. That was a very real world thing that happened. I mean, and we yeah. always saw it on the real world like that. Right. That's what I loved about it. They were the real world was probably as authentic as it could possibly be. And they I mean, they were the the first ever reality reality TV show. And yeah, you have real conversations about the real world. And I'm not sure why that what their decision was for for that. I don't I think you know they they don't want to paint anyone as racist in any which way i don't know it's 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 kind of weird to me like it's a weird well they clearly don't want to be in a conversation about racism right but it is also interesting to me of i don't know um some like ayana calling someone racist that's to me that's not racist but then the other things that you say i mean but then there's also no rever uh, yeah that's a there's no reverse race. It's, it's well, to a, be that controversial bit. at the time of filming that they knew that it wasn't going to air. I mean, that's uh, something you're right. Something clearly was bigger was happening because uh, like that's this is what I know was thinking. that far up front. That's what I was thinking, Crispy, that because we've seen for I anyone to, who I'll be right back. I have to take a little brief pause. I'll bring you back in when you're back. I, um, if anyone who watches Big Brother, you, we've seen um, colorism at its best um, in season 24 with Taylor Hale. And I think that might be, it might be something more along those lines. 
I'm really not sure um, how it's just, it's very tangled and messy of who's this, who's that. Um, but I mean, Ayana is in the forefront of it all. Um, DM, you think the psychic might be Tina? Ooh, she's a chaos gremlin. Well, I mean, hell, if, wait, let's see. Tina confronted Janelle before the nomination ceremony. Huh. I mean, hell, if you're if you're in Tina's position, I well, you got to lose. Yeah, because your name is up for grabs. Yeah. You know? I mean, huh. That might be also why that might be why um Jasmine is not quite naming that name. See, I had heard it could have I was thinking it could have been Somebody has said it could have been like Kefla, and I'm like, oh, I don't think he's gonna get into all that. Um, yeah, so while you were gone, I mean, I like Tina, she is. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I'm into it being Tina. It, I mean, it wouldn't, I'm on the bottom now. Gaining from that, like, I don't think, oh, there we go, switch seats. I don't think Kefla has anything to gain from it. Tina had a lot to gain from it. That that oh, yeah, tracks. I agree. I think it you're I think that could be I think it could be Tina. That really tracks. Could it have been Veronica? Because she's no, a I think she's too. I think she's kind of playing possum right now. And I think Tina is her I mean, she was she her name was up for grabs. It's kind of like do what you can do. Sure, and she will do what she can do. Do we think Jasmine isn't talking about it? Well, clearly because of an NDA. Like, is that why? It's always weird to me when that kicks in and when it doesn't. It's just, I don't see this being something, something, yes, it's a big deal, but I don't see it being something so big that it is an NDA thing unless, I unless agree. Pro- production just was like, no, we're not, we're not having this on there. We don't want, because that's, but because I think back to that comment that Janelle made on, um, on her Instagram saying she wasn't sure what she could talk about. So I don't know if, I don't know if NDA, but I do. I, I mean, clearly very, they made a big fuss about that night for how it got presented. Cause it was very controlled for what sounds like a very out of control, chaotic situation. Yeah, very. And I mean, I, I wish Ayana the best with her, with, getting through cancer and but i mean we're never gonna hear what happened from her this just isn't the time for her to really do that right now she can't worry about that well, um, and she has yeah, it, doubled and tripled down because she's been posting that she stands by everything she did and would do it the same way again so i may have missed all that um, oh yeah look around for her tweets today <laughs> she's been all over the place Hey, anyone, everyone, everyone in the chat, if you've heard anything um, post-season, well, post-episodes um, from Ayana, drop it in the chat, because I am curious about that. I'm pretty sure I follow everyone uh, from this season, but yeah, I would like see to see if I can if... find it from, the, I saw it on Reddit, so I'll see if I can pull that up for you. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, you're, you're gonna, you're, you're the Reddit source, because I, um, Oh yeah, no, that adds up why you're Reddit now. That's why you like uh, Casey and uh, Tori. No, I don't really love. Well, also Reddit hates Casey, but oh Reddit, good, like, they're just yeah, they're just they like really Twitter. Hate Casey. Good, but Reddit does like. Uh... Hey D, if you watch Drag Race, be sure to catch D every Friday night. Well, only there's only one more Friday night of it. <laughs> you can catch D on the f- uh, finale. This Friday of RuPaul's Drag Race. D, who's winning? Yeah, who's your winner pick, D, for RuPaul's Drag Race? Drop it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Uh, but with Janelle, see, yeah, William, you had you had um, messaged me like, you know, hey, why? I had to put that in private chat, Stephen. I can't. I put it. I, okay. Um, you had. What did you you had texted me after? I, 
I remember texting you saying, you better let me know once you've seen episode oh, two. Yes, this is a yes. And I texted you immediately. Um, um, well, we can move... We can move past um, past that, but wait, what was I saying? Um, no, you had asked. Oh, yeah, you'd asked why. You, you know, you you missed when TJ. Um, uh, yes, when, when, TJ, when TJ called said, I hate quitters. quitters. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, there's a reason why he didn't call her a quitter, sure. and that alone is like, okay, yeah, it was a pretty serious um, issue. Okay. Well, when she cited leaving for mental health, and I feel like where we're at as a society, TJ can't come for her for leaving yeah, no for way. mental well-being anymore. Especially not on a on Paramount Plus or on a CBS Viacom platform. Yeah. Um, really I j- Crispy says I she still could have. <laughs> T- or Crispy says I do know that Janelle per gamer doesn't want to be contact anymore. She told them she's done and do not contact her supposedly. Oh, okay. I mean, I got I mean, that. That's too bad, but she's got a busy full life being a, a, like a surgical nurse and having yeah. a family. She's got a lot going on. Um. So, moving past Janelle, um, leaving. So Tina is about to go into elimination and I was, I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. I, I was surprised I really they had, still had it, but I guess it was to give Laurel and Nicole the chance to go in. Right. Um, but if you, so here's the thing, if you see for the, um, the, the preview for next week, TJ says something along the lines of, I had to, this is all-star, so I had to bring in a true all-star. Yeah. So someone is coming in, and I'll just say this, it's not a woman. Ah. Um, but here's what, here's the missed opportunity. They had Genesis on site as an alternate. They could have brought her right in and had Tina play against her and that could be her way in because remember back to all stars three, they brought Beth in right. Like, like midway. In like episode season. three or four. Right. I feel like it may have even been farther in than that. Like well, they're only like 10 episode seasons. This one might be 12. Uh, okay. I really, I really hope so. It might be. Um, but yeah, let's just say I don't want to s- spoil anything. But let's just say there is, um, there's a man coming in for a certain reason, Ooh. and if you look at some cast photos, that person's on there. But I'll let y'all do the digging. But he does. He he's coming, and it's not. Um, we've seen him before. It wasn't anything. He's not. It's not someone out of the ordinary. But we've seen him before. The way the reason he has to come in kind of sucks, but it's what it is. Medical DQ. I'm ready. I'm ready. (laughs) Haven't been enough recently. (laughs) There, there's been plenty. I love medical DQ. I hate it. I'm like, I'm like, stop making them so difficult. Oh, I live for a medical DQ. Oh, Crispy oh. forgot about him. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. some um, some it's... man's going now. Apparently, maybe, seemingly. Yeah, I don't know if that's for the very next episode, but. All right. Bye, Ace. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I think we can pretty much wrap it up. Um, the next time we do this won't be this long, but it was a uh, it was a two two episoder, and we had to get through um, the cast, and and we had to say hello to all of our new friends. Yes, of course. Um, and while we're at it, William, where can everyone find you? 
You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter at Dr. William Hatton. Uh, you can also, if you're in Atlanta and you want a taste of these magical hands, come get adjusted in my office, www.drwilliamhatton.com. Toodles. Yes, you definitely can. I've had it done and it's lovely. And if you go over to his Instagram, you can actually um, find a reel of him adjusting me. You are my most viewed reel ever, by the way, Stephen. I'm just so not shocked. Yeah. <laughs> him? Social media gold. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Reginald underscore underscore George or Twitter at was really good one. And if you have not done so already, please make sure you smash that like on this. I'm smashing it right now. Smash it, smash it real hard. Uh, um, you can follow us on Twitter at Couch Trito QWNZ. Instagram, Cash with the Queens. And if you are not yet subscribed, be sure you hit subscribe, smash that bell so you know when we're going live next. Um, Lanny, any um, social media you'd like to plug? Absolutely not. Here on okay. Thursday. <laughs> excited for challenge on Wednesday and to talk about it on Thursday. Yes, uh, we will so be nice back. To meet you, Crispy. Mwah. Yes, yes. No, you guys are a great addition. And I'm so happy that you joined us. Um, now, with that said, though, we will wrap up and we'll see you on Thursday. Peace out. Bye. Bye.